you have me. We're ready to get back out here again today. Um, had a good week. Yesterday was a really good day. Uh, guys flying around, even though it was coming off of a break and with kind of a change of routine. They didn't have school yesterday, but uh, so back into a routine today. And had great meetings, ready to go. Just get back out here, and get a little bit better today, and and uh, we got a great opportunity this week and a great challenge ahead of us. And and uh, as we build this program, so I'm I'm excited about it, and I know our players are as well. Is Colton and Austin gonna be out here today? Uh, Austin and Colton. Uh, Austin is out, and Colton is is doubtful right now. Uh, how do you feel about Kirby Adcock over there at the left-right spot? Well, you know, Kirby came in uh, last week and, and did some good things. He's got to continue to, to get better, as we all do. And uh, But uh, he'll have his opportunities this week, as he, as he did last week. You're going into the Texas uh, High School Sports Hall of Fame next year. What, were your, what are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, obviously very honored. Um, and, um, you know, very, there's so many people along the way that, you, you know, you want to thank. And uh, a lot of great players I've been around and great coaches and uh, that helped get to that, that point. So, you know, it was a great honor. I got the uh, phone call about three weeks ago and was, was very flattered. What's the situation with Shane Clinton? He was in camp. He was running with the first group in spring, too, and we haven't seen him. Yeah, you know, he's just – he's, you know, number two on our depth chart right now and and uh, has worked some guard, working center as well. And so he's just ready for that opportunity. Is it just come. other guys passed him up? Or? Yeah, right now. I mean, that's kind of where we're at with it. And uh, But he continues to battle and get better every day. Kind of an awful wall question, but you, you guys always play music, and a lot of research says it gives you a little pep. And some coaches don't. I think Nick doesn't play music his practices. What's your thoughts behind um, playing music? Some coaches think it's a distraction. Some think it gives you a little more energy. Well, I mean, I think it's just to each its own. I mean, it's it's whatever you you know you like and and uh, whatever you feel like gets your kids going. And, and uh, we've been playing music for I don't know how many years, but it's it's always added a little bit of different. Uh, you know, breaks it breaks the monotony at practice at times, and, and always got some type of, of noise in the background. But uh, we did it at Clemson. We did it, and we got everywhere we've ever been. Who's your offensive captain this week? CJ O'Grady. Are you getting close to naming a permanent one for that at this point? In the season? Yeah, you know, we will um, probably at some point in November. We'll let the team vote on those who, who will be the permanent captains. I don't know if you even notice this stuff when you're looking at game tape, but I guess Alabama's got these new LED lights, and they were watching the game the other night. The fans were going crazy, and the crowd seemed to really get into it. Is that something you notice, and does that make the atmosphere even tougher there? Well, I, I mean, I, I don't. I think I think you know the, the opponents, are, you know, quite the challenge themselves. But you know, I don't. You know, lights are lights, in my opinion. But I was. I watched the game the other night, and I think it's got a lot of cool, cool game day features to it. I'm sure that uh, their fans were excited about it. So. It's about your own quarterback situation, keeping it under your hat, I guess. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're competing. Obviously, we want to just kind of see where these guys are toward as the week continues to progress. But, uh, you know, again, we had a good day yesterday, and, and we'll, we'll keep pushing today. I think Ben said after the game the other day, you told him Friday that he was going to start. Is that kind of plan this week? You'll tell whoever the start is on Friday? Yeah, more than likely. But, you know, we'll see see how it goes through the course of the week. and, and uh, you know, and just kind of where we are as, a, as an offensive unit. Who's C.J. Washington captain this week? Well, I mean, when you turn the tape on, this guy makes plays all over the field. And I think he's, he's earned that and deserves that. Have you been to Tuscaloosa before? I have not. This will be my first. First yep. C.J.'s tied the school record for touchdowns by a tight end. Just, is that not a surprise, really? It, you know, it really isn't. I mean, just an unbelievable talent. Um, you know, a guy that continues to get better. Um, really challenged CJ over the last year and a half of, of how good can he be, how good does he want to be. And, um, and you know, I think he's he's doing a really good job of, of pushing himself as, as, as we're continuing to grow in. You guys worked trailing some at Wildcat, and um, obviously you want to get CJ. How, how much has that been an emphasis just to make sure that CJ, Traylon, Trey Knox, those guys touch the ball? Right into the yeah, well, I mean, we have to get the ball to our playmakers as much as we can and, and see where these guys, uh, you know, can, can provide that spark that we need. And, and so, yeah, it's our job to be creative and our job to, to, to find ways to get them, get them the ball in space. With Traylon, is it just kind of a situation where he's – Comfortable getting up to you can get him up to the line of scrimmage, all those little things that come with being a freshman to finally expand his role. A little well, more. The, the, the biggest challenge with that is just making sure you don't overload him. Mm -hmm. And he's got a lot on his plate as it is. And, and as we continue to add to him, we want to make sure he can do what he feels comfortable with, especially as a true freshman. What do you envision his role 
next year down the line? Is he more, more I, I think he's going to be a versatile player that will be all over the field, um, very similar to a Sammy Watkins that we had, be back in the backfield and could run, you know, wildcat, could run down the hill as a running back. I'd be setting a slot. I think he's he's very versatile at what he can do. I think the sky's the limit to his potential. And obviously, Alabama's a great team. I hadn't thought about this being your first time there. This may be a dumb question. Are, are, are you looking forward to it? Are you excited about yeah, it? I know. I'm, I'm, I'm always looking forward to uh, – you know, to, to, to great challenges, and that's what this is. I mean, I think any competitor in that building right there that, uh, that, that has competitive juices and, and, you know, is always up for a challenge. And this is a huge challenge for us. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to, you know, as you go into a program, that they are, they've been the measuring stick. See where, see where your program is compared to that. And, you know, I, I know we played well last year against them at times, and, and you know, we're going to get out there this week. Our guys will be prepared. They're going to have a lot of energy. We're going we're gonna to go play well today, this week. They got a great punt returner. Any plan to come back up? Yeah, they got they got a lot of great returners there. You know, the, the very impressive to watch. Uh, what's more impressive to watch is the ten other guys that that, that work to get this guy the the, the the space that he needs. And so we've got to do a tremendous job on our special teams uh, of covering kicks and uh, and being effective in, in in that part of this game. That that's uh, that definitely is part of the game that's. Uh, uh, very scary when you watch their special teams units. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you.